Hello my lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. Scarves are no doubt a good way to accessorize your handbag or to protect them. I brought three of my babies out today and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to accessorize them. Meet Papa Himalaya, Mama Himalaya, and Baby Himalaya. So all three of them are out as a family today because they are about to get pretty. I know many of you like to use the Twilly scarf on the handles of your handbags to protect them from getting dirty. But do you know how to tie the Twilly correctly? I'm going to show you right now. So I have a bunch of Twilly stuffs here. And uh, yes, more straight Twilly-esque kind of scarves. And let's get started. I'm going to show you a classic Twilly tie to protect the handles of your handbag because over time, the sweat and the oils from our hands will cause the handles to darken. Using a twilly on the handles will protect your handles from prolonged wear and tear. I think I've mentioned that I'm not a big fan of a twilly tie on my handbags, even on my light color handbags, especially on my white handbag, I'll just use jeep on them and uh, they'll become white again. Unfortunately, you cannot use that on your exotic skin handbags. So I guess, you know, tying a scarf over them would still be the best way. I'm just going to show you guys with one scarf. I'm pretty sure I have two of this. I just can't for the life of me find the other one. So we'll make do with one. I've got other ones in doubles. Unfortunately, they don't match with the Himalaya. So always, always start from the center so that you get an even balance. Make sure to tighten the center and roll them like a swirl downwards until you reach the base of the handle. Loop it like this and put this through so that you get a nice little tail that is neat and pretty and then on the other side do the same thing just go on by rolling it until you reach the base so loop it Put this over from the top and pull. So there you go, it's pretty easy. Next, I'm going to show you a twilly tie with some accessories. Change to baby Himalaya because she's a Kelly bag. Let's go with this twilly scarf. First, I'm going to lock one end of the twilly scarf to the right side of the handbag. I always want to make sure that there is a pretty tail at the bottom. What I did just now was to put the scarf through this metal piece. And then, taking the long end of the scarf, I am going to pull it upwards. So there you have a very pretty tail and the rest of the scarf to work with. Always make sure that it is firmly tied. So I have a long end right now over here. And now I'm going to loop this through 
So pulling it out, I have got a longer end to left side of which I am going to now secure a knot by doing this. Put it from in from the top. So I've got one longer end and a shorter end. So right here I have some accessories that are like the Mador ones. They are really nice and like a gold. So we are going to loop it through from the tiniest to the largest. Let's let's make sure that I get the sizes right. Probably. Now there. And then second larger one. Just make sure they are all facing in the same direction. You don't want them to be facing sideways like what's happened now. Let me just move this. Move it through. And there you go. But remember to secure the bottom with a knot or else you are going to lose your Mador accessories. Just a simple knot would do. So here you go. And Baby Hima has a new look. How do you guys like this one? All right, next. It's going to be something a little bit more interesting because I think that Papa is going to need a rose to give to the Mama Himalaya. Papa is going to get a rose. How do we do that? First, we'll take a longer kind of scarf, not the twilly, but you can do it with a square scarf or even like a rectangular scarf. And now we are just going to double braid it all the way. And as usual, make sure that it's firm and tight. So just twirl it like you would a donut into a donut. And taking one end and the other one, I am going to tie a knot. It's weird. So I'm just going to loop it through this part, both of the ends. Then you just kind of adjust it. It's an ugly rose. Should I try it again? It's ugly. Let's do it again. I'm not very good at Tying roses, I'm good at planting roses. Take two. Okay, I make the mistake of not tying a knot here. So just tie it into a single one. You don't have to double knot it. So that it's nicely secured at the base of the handle. And after, just flat it. And Pull it into a donut. So it actually feels much more secure than what I did just now. So make sure that it is tighter because I did it quite loose previously. Now it's much better. And I'm just going to loop it through the handles to secure it at the piece. It's still an ugly rose, so... A few moments later... Tie it at the bottom. And I'm going to knot it so that it's not going to drop. Yay! 
Not bad for my first try. I mean second try. But this is the first time I'm doing this. So. There. Papa wants to give her a rose. So these are the more complicated ways of adorning your handbags with scarves. But you could always do it like an easier way, which I'm going to show you right now. But first, I want to give them a family shot. Say cheese! Family photo time. A simpler way, if you don't want to tie a rose, because that may be kind of not the easiest thing to do, especially if you're in a rush, I would just take a scarf like this, just have it in the middle, and just do this. It's still a very pretty way, but of course, this scarf could be a little bit too long for, for wearing it this way. But what I'm just going to show you is that it does look very feminine and pretty as well to be bringing a handbag like this out and with a pretty scarf just flowy. So this is like a two second scarf tie. This classic way of tying the twilly is perfect for protecting the handles. But if you just want to accessorize your handbag and protecting the handle is not of importance to you, you could just give her a pretty little bow. How to tie the perfect bow. Like this and then Pull it through from here, is it? Yep. Not bad. I'm going to do the last very, very simple style with this pocket dotted tweet. one end of the twilly longer than the other and just loop it through while pulling the longer end into a ribbon ear like that probably need to just adjust it a little bit and just let the ends of the ribbon flow Simple and easy, done in 5 seconds. So guys, we come to the end of the video. I hope that you have all enjoyed this one and learned something from it. Do leave your comments below on what other videos you like to watch on my channel. Until then, I'll see you all next week. Ciao! Thank you for watching. Okay. <sighs> By tying the tree. Okay. okay, what should I say? And baby Himalayan. Okay, one more time. <laughs> <laughs>